Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading for the month of April. I will pull some oracle cards after tarot. And of course, with this being a general reading, please know that it will not resonate for all of you out there. Please only take what does and don't worry about the rest. And thank you to all of you who have subscribed. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. All right, Virgo. This one's for you. We have for Virgo. Virgo, we have the Three of Cups, we have the Hierophant, we have the Queen of Swords, and we have you, the Hermit here. Okay. I feel like right now, Virgo, there's two things I'm getting here. I feel like a lot of you right now are trying to focus on having some fun, enjoying yourself, uh, more often with friends, with family, having some special time to where you can just kind of cut loose, okay? Kind of have a break a little bit from just solely focusing on a relationship, a serious relationship, but needing to have some fun as well. I feel like a lot of you are going to have a moment with your person where a lot of truth needs to be uh, spoken. There needs to be some clear communication here in order, you know, to kind of get you both, um, it's like someone needs to know something. Someone is seeking or searching something within this connection. There's something that either you want to know, Virgo, or your person wants to know. So I feel like communication is going to be really important, but also cutting loose and having a good time and not solely focusing too much on this connection to where you're drained and you're not enjoying yourself. Okay. Now, the other thing I'm getting here. For some of you Virgos, you might have a little bit of... A question in the back of your mind if there's a third party or if there is someone interfering in this connection, okay? Whether you feel like this is a mother who might be interfering in some kind of way or just someone that you, you know, you don't know, but you might be feeling like there's a third party here with this three of cups. Some of you, I feel like you're just kind of retreating within yourself and really going to look at what you need to look at to find what you need to find, like your answers, okay? Some of you might be like, okay, is there someone else? I need to figure it out. The hermit is all about figuring it out, looking for answers, searching and seeking here. So there's two things here, Virgo. Okay. Yeah. So Virgo, let's look at your past relationship. Virgo. Okay, so Virgo, we have the Three of Pentacles, we have the Six of Wands, we have the Seven of Pentacles, and the Chariot here. Okay. I feel like in your past relationship, it was almost like there were certain things that you didn't know that were kind of in the dark as far as like working together, trying to get things going together, to be on the same page, to build, having that plan together. It's almost like there was always something that you did not know or you felt there was something that you didn't know in the picture here, but still try to work it out, work it through, right? It's like getting the plans together, but there was a little bit of an issue here. Now we have the Six of Wands, Virgo. This is all about attention, recognition. I feel like some of you are waiting. Some of you are waiting for this person to uh, either like, it's almost like acknowledge this connection or to help move this connection forward. The right attention needs to be put into the plans in order to elevate this connection. But I feel like it was something you were waiting for. It was always like, I'm waiting for it to happen. I'm waiting for this movement. I'm waiting to move forward here with this person. So yeah, definitely an energy of waiting for that type of effort to be put into where this relationship can just keep going. It needs to progress. We need to get it moving. 
So this is how a lot of you might have felt in a past relationship here. Let's see what you're attracting, Virgo. Let's see what's coming in. What is Virgo attracting in love? What are they attracting? What's Virgo attracting? Let's see. Ooh, Virgo, Queen of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Five of Cups, Nine of Cups. Okay. I feel like you guys are attracting a love that is very nurturing and very giving, much like your energy, Virgo here. Giving, loving, passionate, where there's a lot of effort. There's a lot of stability, but it's all because of the work that's put in from the effort of the person. No matter what they have to do, they're able to do it. They're able to put into the relationship. They're able to put into priorities, things they need to do. I mean, you can do it all here. That kind of effort, Virgo, I feel like that's what you're attracting. Someone to nurture you, someone to love you, someone to put into you. A relationship that feels good, feels peaceful, has harmony. Where you, again, working together, working together to have growth here. Yeah, I definitely feel like this is what you're attracting. It's like you're wanting someone to put time, effort, love, compassion into you, into the connection. Because there's been a lot of loss. There's been a lot of hurt, right? We've had some cups that have spilled over from our past, from things we've experienced. But what's important is to keep our eye on now and moving forward. And I feel like you are Virgo. And in doing so, you're going to have your contentment and your happiness. Definitely happiness here. Being happy with what you have. Moving past loss, moving past sadness here. Because you are attracting a love that is all about we're working it through together. No matter what we go through, no matter what loss, uh, if we, you know, we have an argument, you know, and there's a little bit of pain here or hurt here, we're going to work it through, not just give up, but put an effort. That's how you grow. That's how you grow connections, relationships, and get that kind of stability. Sticking through when things get hard, when feelings get hurt, and not giving up. Not feeling like all is lost and we have to stay focused on that loss to where we can't move forward in a positive way. Healing, but growth, your happiness, Virgo. This is what you're attracting. Letting go of the pain, focusing on now, and attracting that partner who's going to give what you give. Put in what you put in. Love, tenderness, taking care of those you care about, getting that back. Some of you might have a person from the past in mind with this six of cups here. You know, it's like someone you may know, a close friend, but this is good energy. This is someone that you got along with. This is someone you like. This is someone who likes you. So for some of you, you might be attracting this kind of person. Coming back, communicating, moving past hurt and sadness and being happy with what you have, your wishes and desires coming true when it comes to love and growth and stability. Okay, let's see. Virgo, what do you need to know? What do you need to know at this time? That's where we need to know. One more. Okay. Virgo, what you need to know. Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Ooh, Eight of Swords. High Priestess here. Okay. What's important for you to know, Virgo? Keep working on the things that you're working at. 
If you feel you're in a connection in a relationship where it's worth putting in the effort, keep staying focused on what it is you want to do. As long as you know that person is also putting in effort. Can't just be you, Virgo, uh, doing everything and caring so much, putting your heart and your soul into it, no matter how you feel or how tired you are. You need someone who isn't going to have you feeling like this because you care so much and you care so deeply. This is the time where someone puts work into this connection as well as you. Alleviating that stress, Virgo, is really important. To not be too stressed, not let the anxiety get the best of you. I know how hard that can be, but you can do it. Know there's a way forward. If you're wanting to move forward someone and work through some issues because there's been some hurt here, if you know that this is going to be good for you, if you know it's going to make you happy, you're going to know how to move forward. Why? Pay attention. Pay attention to your feeling, your intuition. This is... This is heavy. <laughs> this is some serious feeling, some serious gut feeling. It's going to tell you what you need to know. It's going to tell you how you need to move forward or what you need to let go of to move forward for you and find your happiness. Because remember, what you are attracting, stability, growth, and a love that is sweet, a love that is kind, a love that is going to work with you through the good and the bad times. That's what I'm getting here, Virgo. Okay. Putting in work with the right person, as long as you aren't too stressed and tired and it's not weighing you down mentally. That's what's important. Don't ever feel like you have to stay in a certain situation if it's stressing you out because that's not good. You're supposed to be happy. Even if you have times that are rough, it's okay. People are going to have their ups and downs, right? You work through it. But if this is too much, if you're going through this too much, then it might be time to see a clearer way to move forward for you. Paying attention to what you feel, Virgo, is important. Okay? Now let's, let's get a little more into a glimpse into your future, okay? This is for Virgo. Where we're going. Oh, Ace of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, Seven of Cups. Okay. Seven of Swords. Okay. Yeah, Virgo, a lot of you, going back to that Three of Cups, remember I was saying feeling like a third party or some of you might be having some suspicions here. We do have the sneaky energy. All right, so Virgo, a lot of you need to stay focused on you and yourself and your passions right now, the things that you're working hard at. Try not to let the stress, uh, the overanalyzing uh, get to you. Keep your mind clear. Keep your mind focused and go for what you want to go for because here's some more go for it energy, but not only go for it, blessings, blessings from that action. This is what you have, Virgo, taking action and having blessings coming into you, which I love to see here. Okay. So don't let your mind get confused here. We have the seven of cups. If there's something that you're feeling ain't right, if you know it to your core, you feel it, then it ain't right. Stay focused on what's healthy and, and going to bring you happiness. If you feel there's some sneaky things going on here, then there are some sneaky things going on here. But it's like <laughs> you have your feelings of what you feel you might, you know, be going on here, Virgo, but then you still have wonderful blessings coming in. And I feel like this is a time for you. Also, again, having fun, going out, doing you, not being too enveloped into this anxiety and worry and all this. It'll play out. It'll work itself out. Stay healthy. Stay happy. Stay focused. Keep working on you. Stay focused on your blessings that are coming in. Opportunities that you have opening up. Right? We have that nine of cups. Being content. Staying focused. A lot of you are putting a lot of action into something. Starting something new. 
So it's important to not get too distracted by what's going on with a person whom you might feel there's something going on. You'll find it out. Just pay attention to how you're feeling. But you have good things coming for you. Especially that six of cups, that love, that sweetness, that nurturing. That's also, don't forget about that, Virgo. All right, so let's get to some oracles for you, Virgo. Spirit, what do we have for Virgo? For Virgo, anything else? Okay. We have focus on yourself. Focus on you. Focus on self. Self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Very important here, coming off strong in this reading, Virgo. Paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. I feel like that's going back to this energy that you're attracting. That sweet, sweet, good, positive feeling. That six of cups. That growth and stability. There's going to be expansion here, Virgo, with you that you're, you're attracting someone to where it is going to be. Uh, it's like a relationship that's happy playful where you can actually enjoy each other and you don't have to be so stressed okay we have camera reminiscing keepsake perception learn from the past make memories okay then we have the butterfly here relationship evolving to the next phase healing the inner child and growth so a lot of you might just be focused on your healing right now taking time for you Again, maybe needing to have a little bit more fun, focus on you, right? Fun time for Virgo and let everything else just fall in its place. You deal with it when you deal with it, however you need to deal with it, but always whatever is best for you, Virgo. Because remember, blessings, there's action here to be taken to where blessings are going to come in. Okay, so let's see. That's that expansion, Virgo. Okay. What does Virgo need to know? More cards to love. For Virgo. Anything for Virgo. Oh. Okay. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take. Then we have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life could be some unhealthy cycles as well going on virgo someone being too dependent on you and things just keep going round and round and round causing a little bit of confusion here but this is the time that you're going to see clearly you're going to see what you need to see you have that queen of swords Queen of Swords doesn't play around. So stay focused on you and taking action with whatever it is you need to do with, for what's uh, best for you. Okay. Let's get a little more for Virgo. What's Virgo need to know? What's Virgo need to know? Anything else? Okay, Virgo, you have quality time. Spending more quality time together and doing things you enjoy is important right now. Doing things you enjoy is important. Whether you're doing them by yourself because you're just focusing on you or you and your person need to spend some quality time to air some things out, to get some things together. If you're single, this card tells you to spend more time with friends Spend more time with friends. This card highlights parties and having a good time. It's really important for you to do your thing and have fun. Have a good time. Less worry. Let's worry about what we need to worry about. Let's just throw some fun in there. Okay. Let's see. Spirit for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? Virgo. Okay. 
Here we go. Twin flame. So Virgo, you have a twin flame here. Twin flame. Okay. Let's see what else we got for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know in regards to relationships? Spirit, what does Virgo need to know? reciprocate express shared feelings remember i was talking about in the beginning uh expressing feelings that truth needing to communicate here so for a lot of you who might be either taking a break or a pause uh from a connection with someone you guys might just need a little bit of space and you just need to focus on you and have a little good uh, good time for yourself when you do come together it's important for you both to express how you feel. There's some deep communication that needs to happen to clear the air and to clear the way. Meaning once you communicate and you know what you need to know, Virgo, pay attention how you feel. You're going to move forward in what's best for you. So it's like reciprocating that energy of being able to be open and honest and share feelings. Okay. So Virgo, let's close with a whispers of love for you. The message of love for Virgo, what do they need to hear? Okay, here we go, Virgo. Do we have? Uh oh, I picked up two. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Focus on love. Focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. There's nobody that's perfect. There are people who are going to have, uh, you know, <laughs> things you don't like, right? Because nobody is perfect. But as long as you know that you're treated fairly, Virgo, and it's healthy for you. And you can communicate honestly with this person and get the answers that you need, the answers you seek. And you can move forward feeling good. Focus on love. Even if that means loving yourself. Going out, having a good time, just doing you quality time to yourself. That's good too. It's definitely something to focus on if you need to. Okay. So Virgo, that's what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and don't forget to click that notification bell so you don't miss the next videos coming out. Take care, Virgo. Bye.